nor Jean here again. Now, I wanted to show you a chop and toss with the five acres of fear cane that wasn't reduced. What I had used in the double-sided pendant, where'd it go? In the double-sided pendant and in the Natasha bead was cane that was reduced to like oh, a half inch by half inch. Okay. About a fourth of the size of uh, the cane that it came from. The smaller the cane, the smaller the chop, the smaller the design. Let's take a look at what we get from slicing up the cane before it's reduced. Okay? Don't be afraid to take cane and chop it up. Okay? It's n nothing's precious. So I'm going to do like maybe another like quarter inch. Whenever I do this, people go, oh, God, oh, they get all, they get all worded out. I'm going, relax. You know what's really nice though? Oh my God. It's like, if you take, if you take tiger, tiger cane, and you chop it up, and you give it a toss, toss it like egg salad. Oh, it's just delicious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing that because um, I have some requests for doing tiger and leopard and zebra. Giraffe is also popular. I have those animal prints tutorials on my site norajean.com, but we don't have videos of them. I did I did them in webcam because we used to do webcam demos. But just webcam demos just became so unruly because there was this, you know, I mean I hate to toot my own horn, but it got like hella crowded. I mean you see you know it's like we got like room for fifty people and then two hundred people would show up and then you know everything people would be piggybacked on each other. Like, somebody would be watching a webcam, and then somebody would turn on their webcam and put it on their monitor, and then somebody would, you know, be looking at the secondary webcam. It was just nuts. Okay? So, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So, we'll just, we're just going to do, so I just chopped it, gave it a toss. Let's, oh, oh. And this hasn't been warmed. Or anything and what you can do is you can do a long Natasha bead and then cut sections off of it or you can make a big rectangle and then cut smaller rectangles out of it and then make smaller beads from it okay I'm just trying to it's compressing the air. Now you notice I'm not twisting it, I'm not turning it. Some Natasha beads say twist and turn. I'm going, ah, but then, you know, if you have designs, I mean, that's okay for scraps, you know. But if you have to actually, you have designs in the cane already, then you're going to end up losing some of the designs. They get all like, stretched out and marbleized up and maybe sometimes you don't want to do that. You know, what if you had some really nice chevrons and then you you cut them up or leaves. Leaves are nice. You know, you don't want to twist and turn and you know, goof up the cane design. Okay. So So let's take a look and see what kind of design comes from these, from this larger, this larger cane slice. Okay, you you're gonna. This is I'm not. I don't know what's in here. I don't want to sit in here either. We just open it up. Oh, it almost looks like skull and crossbone, doesn't it? See, it's a larger design. 
because it was a larger, oh, you know, there we go, there's the, see the difference? This is a larger cut. It was a larger cane. It wasn't reduced. This one is from the scraps from last night. This one is from, like, what we did right now. Okay. So let's see if we can get a double-sided pendant. So we take this one. And we cut it in half. We take this one. And we cut it in half. Let's see what this one have. This one, oh, it's kind of nifty. I think I like the the larger ones better because it really looks like, it looks kind of heavy metal, you know? I mean, really, when you think about it. Okay. Okay, and then let's see what this one looks like. And each time you open these up, it's like, you know, and what you see in them, that's what you bring. Frankly. Okay, now since this side's, this side's thicker and this side's thin, this side's thicker, you put the, you put the thin side with the thick side and the thick side with the thin side and it evens itself out. Does that make sense? Okay, let me do that again. See how this side's thick and this side's thin? See, this is, this is the thick side, that's the thin side. This is the thick side, that's the thin side. Put thin to thick, thin to thick, it evens it out. See? Okay. So now, this is going to make a nice pendant. This makes a nice double-sided pendant. Okay. Don't be, even though it says five acres of fear, don't let the fear get in the way of chopping up cane. That's perfectly good. Chopping it up to see what you get when you do a chop and toss. And also, see, it looks good this way. And it looks good that way. Yummy! Okay. I like that.